I would like to introduce to you. Everybody stand up, please, and clap. Britta Schmigotsky from Project Leader of the Low Temp Project and one of the hosts of this evening. Uh, Britta is an urban planner from Berlin with a passion for district heating and energy efficient housing <laughs> refurbishment and development. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long sentence. Okay, thank, you. thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, good morning, everybody. Um, I'm very honored um, to speak in front of such an audience full of experts. We are also experts in the Low Temp project, but as you can take from the title, we are still learning. We are in the middle of learning. This is why we have the midterm conference at the moment. Um, and I'm already looking forward, I'm saying this at the beginning of my presentation, to learn from you in the coffee break, in the workshops, and yeah, during our project implementation phase. <laughs> so, <laughs> but let's start the low temp project. And first, I also say thank you very much to the host. Um, and the host also told me I only have I think now I only have eight minutes. So don't be angry when I'm running, 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 running. Yeah, <laughs> I make it quick. But afterwards, um, please, uh, please approach me and ask questions. And yeah, OK, so let's start. What is the low temp? Ah, I shall not look there. I normally look always there. I shall look there. OK, <laughs> this is new for me. The low temp project. Um, as you can see there, um, we have the same aims as you have make district heating more sustainable but we have a location, it's the Baltic Sea region. And of course, we also have this aim, fourth generation district heating. There we would like to go, and now I know when, it's 2050, I heard from the experts, so thank you, <laughs> then we will be there. Um, we are 19 partners, partners meaning partner institutions, from eight EU member states. We have Estonia, Lithuania, Latvia, Poland, Germany, Sweden, Denmark, Finland, and Russia in our project. Yeah, it's quite, <laughs> it's quite a huge group. Um, the lead partner of the project is Polish. It's a Polish uh, academic institute. It's called IMPPEN. Um, as you can see there again, duration, um, we are in the middle of the project. Our budget is quite, it's quite low. It's 3.8 uh, million. Low for, for example, I know there are a lot of Horizon 2020 projects, so um, it's not that, that huge. And what else? Yeah, it's the Interreg Baltic Sea Region program supporting us, supporting this uh, event today. So um, in this framework, we are working at the moment. What are we doing? First, challenges and background. It's the same. Um, I make it quick here. We all have a long tradition uh, in all of the countries of district heating, high share of district heating, 50% on average. Um, the systems uh, in, the, in the countries um, are similar, although there are some slight differences. Um, the technical conditions of the devices are often quite bad. Um, heat losses from the grid. Um, we still have a high share of fossil fuels and uh, the share of renewables is too low. Um, and of course, we all have to deal with, fortunately, we have an energy efficient or more and more energy efficient building stock. So we have to adapt our district heating supply to this building stock. Um, what is different in the partner countries is the economic and legal framework conditions. So um, we are working also on this topic. Um, and a very important topic, and I come to this um, in my next slides, is the lack of um, regional and municipal strategies how to implement sustainable district heating or low temperature district heating. What are we doing? We have kind of six working fields, which are the key activities. Um, First of all, we are or we have developed a district heating knowledge platform. It's an online platform where we collected um, information on district heating and low temperature district heating. It's nearly finalized. Um, I will on the next slide, uh, or one of the next slides, you will see um, a, f a photo of this uh, knowledge platform. But we're still working on it, uh, so information is still uh, provided. Then we do uh, environment, uh, sustainability assessment, so we are looking at the um, environmental and economic effects of district heating and low temperature district heating. For selected municipalities, we are developing so-called pilot energy strategies. We are implementing testing measures uh, in various municipalities. I will also have a slide on this quickly. 
We are working on the topic financing and here Sustainable Business Hub um, is leading the working field. And very, very important and the focus of our work for the next year to come is capacity building via training. Um, after one and a half year, um, hopefully we have achieved, achieved something. Um, in three fields we have achieved something. We did a lot of survey uh, of the status quo. We prepared the pilot testing measures and we acquired knowledge, but we also transferred knowledge. So how did we do this? The survey of the status quo. We did, a, we did uh, analysis of the framework conditions um, to realize the pilot energy strategies. Sustainability assessments, I already mentioned this, and we were working on the topic of financing. Um, here you see the, um, the pilot testing measures or the locations of the pilot testing measures. Um, these testing measures are first steps. So quite often it's about installing within the building first installations that enable the supply of low temperature district heating. Um, the one, uh, the in investment outside um, a building has been done in Holmstadt. They have been testing innovative piping, meaning from two, uh, two pipes to three pipes. But it's small steps. Yeah, It's not like huge project, w which we will see afterwards in the Horizon 2020 project. And um, you are very much welcome to approach our partners here. They are all here from Latvia um, and from Poland uh, to discuss with them these projects. The knowledge transfer, the main topic for us in the next months to come. What we did was study visits and lectures. And you, you don't believe how important this was. Um, our project partners came together with their national stakeholders because there is a lack of knowledge in the regions with local normal actors who in the end are responsible for the implementation of low temperature district heating. Afterwards, um, those partners tried to raise awareness with the knowledge they gained among their stakeholders and target groups. So here um, in the middle you see, for example, in Poland we had a huge conference in Gdynia and uh, our Polish lead partner also approached Polish uh, politicians on the topic. And now the last step, I mentioned the uh, knowledge platform and the training program. The knowledge platform, uh, you find it under I'm very happy that we got the dhknowledge.eu, um, so there, there you will find the knowledge we uh, accumulate and collect. Um, but as I said, we are working on this. But our partners, uh, it's a university from Klaipeda, um, they uh, gladly discuss with you on how to further develop, on how to um, collect uh, information, so get um, to them uh, and discuss uh, how, how this can be further developed. And we, uh, as I said before, we plan to finalize the platform um, at the end of this year. Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> um, my conclusions, um, or our conclusions. Yeah, first of all, this project also, uh, it, it has been confirmed that um, district heating, I, I say district heating, not low temperature district heating at this moment, uh, it's an essential infrastructure for the cities in the Baltic Sea region. Um, and it's beneficial for various stakeholders, including the customers. Um, low temperature district heating also in our project, with all the research we did, has been acknowledged as a sustainable and future-oriented energy supply. Um, so. And the knowledge is available. How to do it, we know how to do it. We know how to realize um, uh, sustainable district heating and the technical expertise is there. And there is, a poten there is the potential to expand um, sustainable and smart district heating networks. But there's still a lot to do. So far, uh, the, the, the low temperature district heating is seldomly installed, especially in Eastern European countries. Um, there is a low level of investments due to understandable financial concerns uh, from the investors. We all know it's a long-term investment, although it has very, very huge environmental benefits. But So there has to be done something together with those being responsible uh, for the investments. 
We noticed uh, when preparing our pilot testing measures that there are new approaches needed uh, for the use of waste heat. Um, yeah, and I come to this main issue, lack of knowledge and strategies, need for training and awareness raising. Thus, um, we will focus more and more in the next year to come and also in a planned extension of the project on the development of a training program, an e-learning training program. Um, to the first version of this training program will be finalized next October. Um, and then we will continue with a, well, with a, M more with it, it may be an e-learning tool, it may be even more, because we thought th we would like to bring this knowledge to the Baltic Sea region and to all local and regional stakeholders. And I think this was my last slide, so thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, so no, please okay. stay on stage. Thank you very much, thank Britta. You. We have time for one question, if we have one from the audience. <coughs> Otherwise, yes. I, I, I don't know. I, I was just a little interested in uh, that platform that you were showing. Mm -hmm. Like, what are the benefits of that? How can you use this platform? You mean the distributing knowledge platform? We thought in the beginning or in the development phase of the project, I know that there is a lot, Heat Roadmap Europe and uh, things like this. There is information. But all the basics, as I said, um, our partners are usual local <laughs> stakeholders who would like to improve their energy supply. So we wanted to have a collection of knowledge which afterwards can be, which is available for everybody on, on the internet. So if I would like to know, let's, let's say it very, very simple, how long is the DG district heating grid network in Finland? <laughs> then I can find it there and how much. And so this is the benefit. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Britta. It's uh, now time for our coffee break, and we will be.